Hey, what's up? Today we're going to be looking at some stupid people. That's always fun. So let's just get into it. This is your stupid number 46. Let's do it. Hey, what's up? First, we'll start with this idiot here. Brother, out of fish. I know a spot. Follow me. What the? Oh, you jumped into a giant fish tank. Hilarious. This one actually pisses me off a lot. Not even mentioning the fact that there were a bunch of children watching this fish tank and then you splashed them and their families with dirty fish tank water. Let's put all that bullshit aside. Being a person who is very deep into the aquarium hobby, this really pisses me off. Like, you see my big fish tank back here, but it's a little known fact that in the last year I got really into the fish keeping hobby. I am so deep into this hobby now that I have 17 tanks. I have a little breeding corner set up where I breed fish for fun, give them to local fish stores and stuff. This right here is a 30 gallon tote that has a bunch of bristlenose pleco babies. This right here that's covered in a blanket is uh, their micro worm cultures. I have grindle worms in there. Yeah, live food for my fish because I love them so much. Actually, it's because I'm breeding a certain type of fish that can only eat live food basically, so I need it or they will die. My point being is I understand this world a lot and seeing this kid jump into this tank with his dirty ass shoes on, are you kidding me? Do you know how much disease you potentially just put into that tank? You put all of these beautiful fish at risk. For what? For some TikTok clout? Pathetic. A tank is not like a river. Okay, a fish tank is like a little ecosystem. When you put something into that ecosystem, it stays in there until you remove it. So whatever was on your shoes, if you stepped in bird shit that day, then bird shit was in that fish tank now. And he, I don't know about you, but I don't like to put bird shit in my fish tanks. Have a little common sense. I don't know who is raising this generation of TikTokers, but please... Put some values into these children. Put some common sense into these children. Put some morals into them. Ah, what a moron. All right, let's move on. I wanted to start with that one because that one was really pissing me off this morning when I saw it. Sent the new guy out to paint some trim and I asked him, what's wrong with this picture? He said, I know, I know, I forgot my respirator. I will make sure I have it next time. And he said he's worth 25 an hour with 50 cent raises every three months and he wants to drive a company truck home with a gas card. Oh my God, I wouldn't let this kid hold my beer. All right, it'd probably just end up smashing on the ground and be like, that's what I thought you wanted. Oh, the lack of common sense some kids have these days is alarming. Whew. If you still are looking at this and you're like, I don't know what's wrong. He spray painted the whole damn driveway. All right, damn. If someone spray painted my driveway white, I would be pissed. Oh yeah, they didn't want a nice little grid pattern on their driveway. Like you didn't think that you were destroying this person's driveway and lawn? Holy shit, you're dumb. No, it's just spray paint, it wipes right off. I'm in an angry mood today. I might be a little ranty today, but that's okay. Dr. Sebi's sell food? Hair follicle fortifier. Add water to make paste. Apply to scalp. Uh, don't apply to, uh, okay. Well, anyway, you can see the results. Holy shit. They gave this guy, they turned him into an alien. They made him an elongated head. I sincerely hope this guy didn't do any permanent damage and he's feeling okay now. He looks way too calm for someone going through this situation. If this was Egyptian times, you would be uh, an Egyptian god probably because a lot of the Egyptian royalty back then had elongated heads. They said it was like to house their bigger brains because they might have been aliens or something, but hey, let's not go down that rabbit hole right now, but it is interesting. Sorry about your elongated head, but hey, don't trust any hair follicle stimulator when the person on the bottle is a bald man. He's bald. It's not working for him. It's not going to work for you. This is the USA. There is no one coming to our rescue if things go sideways. No one will be resupplying us. No one will airdrop food, ammunition, medicine. There is no place to escape to fix freedom. This is it. Oh, wow. What a profound point you're making. I can't wait for the rebuttal. Multiple countries just sent us millions in foreign aid for the Maui fires. Every time there's a major disaster, we have received international funding, food, medicine, and even military support to rebuild, just like any other country would. Stop making stuff up to get emotional about that can be disproven in two seconds. Here, 
I'll help you out. Google, one free Google search. Would have saved him this embarrassment. I feel like this is a husband and like the wife wrote this out and was like, yeah, stand there and hold this. And he's like, you know this isn't true, right? She's like, no, it's true. Do you want sex tonight? You hold the damn sign and look like an idiot. Okay. I'm sorry. Although he is wearing a shirt that says hunt your local pedos, so... Hmm, could have been his idea. I'm not saying that's not a good idea to hunt him down, but wearing a shirt that says that is a very bold move. Lauren Bobbert... Bobbit or Bobbert? Lauren Bobbert once told women in rocky marriages that they just need to start chasing Jesus to solve their marital issues. Now she's getting divorced. Oh, it didn't work for you, huh? Why would you tell him to chase poor little Jesus? That poor little Spanish man running around? Jesus didn't do anything. Stop telling people to chase Jesus. I'm on your side, man. He just keeps saying, I'm not gonna save your marriage. And they're like, they told me to chase you. Like, no. History books really convinced us that early humans used to hunt woolly mammoths with spears. That animal weighed five tons with a speed of 24 miles per hour. Imagine trying to stop a U-Haul truck with a spear. That's how I know most of ancient history is bullshit. They just make shit up. Hey, I might be able to stop a U-Haul with a spear if it's only going 24 miles per hour. Probably not. I'd probably still die. And the thing about a truck and a woolly mammoth is a truck isn't made out of flesh and bones and it doesn't have a heart that you can pierce. If you stab a woolly mammoth in the right spot, it'll just die if you... Well, I guess if you stab a truck in the right spot, it'll just die too. You know what? I think this person needs to get out there and test this theory. We need answers. Babysitter needed ASAP. I need someone to watch my four kids aged two, three, five, and seven from noon to six M-F occasional weekends. Must be a good cook and avid cleaner. Over 25 years old, minimum education, master's degree. Minimum, damn. No social media accounts. I don't need my kids seeing that. No drinking, no smoking, not even vaping. No tattoos or piercings. Need five professional references. Background check and drug tests will be conducted. Well, at least you care about your children. This job pays 200 a week. Must have own transportation to get to and from while also running my errands. Please call Tammy. Tammy just wants a damn slave. Well, Tammy, I don't think that's enough money for everything you're requesting, okay? That is a huge ask. She's like, why doesn't anyone ever reply to my ad? Because that person doesn't exist. It's better than this babysitting one, though. Whites only moms and tots. Join us for... It's at a bus stop in Port Cocutalam. I said that right. Don't even question it. Are you looking for somewhere your children can play with others that look like them? Are they tired of being a minority in their schools and daycares? Escape forced diversity and join other proud parents of Europe children as we create an atmosphere in which our kids can feel like they belong. Invest in your child's sense of well-being and racial identity by giving them the gift of time spent amongst their own people because they deserve it. I am not even gonna post this website. Nobody go to it. Ugh. It's just disgusting. Ugh. Oh yeah, force diversity. Can diversity just be a thing? Like, let's not force it. Let's just know that we should be diverse in our way of thinking. This is what a beta male looks like. <laughs> Travis Kelsey. Kelsey? I don't know. I, I'm not nailing the last names today, okay? Travis is a six foot NFL tight end who's dating the most famous woman in the world. This might be the most hilarious hill anyone has ever chosen to die on. Oh yeah, he really looks like a beta male to me. I could totally kick his ass cause I'm an alpha. You see man, you see these guns? So sweat pit. Mm. Yeah, you see these guns? So sweaty, cause I'm so manly. A guy once told my lesbian friend that being a lesbian is a huge turnoff for guys and that she'll never find a boyfriend. And she was like, that's the point. You idiot. Please help me. Man called 911, cried bear, and said multiple bears were about to attack him, all because he was very drunk and wanted a ride out of the woods. Well, this guy's my new hero, all right? He found a way and got it done. And he didn't drive home drunk. So really, we should maybe just be rewarding this man for his responsibility. I'm sure when they caught him, they are like, where are all the bears? He was like, no, I said beers, beers. So many beers. I'm really drunk. Anyway, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't jump into any fish tanks because that's just a fucking douche move. Don't be a douchebag TikToker. Be one of the good TikTokers. And come up to your screen real quick. <gasps> Boop. And check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash fluffy talks and get yourself some merch. Bye.